No, now we're live, Addy Tooney. Live on my channel. What is happening, everybody? Actually, it's taken... I don't know if we're live. Okay. It was taking a minute there to kick in. What is happening? Who else hanging out out there? I see Michael Morris is here. Socrates, the cab driver. What's yeah, up? Driver. Beep, beep, motherfuckers. Beep, beep. Let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get. Let's get that monetization out of the way right away. Right away. Larry Staler. They want the, the the YouTube the YouTube police will just have to watch like what ten seconds of the show. They're set. They're set. <laughs> I took care of it for them. Uh, yeah. Al Ben, what's up, Al? How you doing, man? Down the rabbit hole. What's up, Kevin Bako? How you doing, Kevin? Uh, BT Cruiser in the house. What up, BT? How you doing, man? So uh, we'll see. We'll see who else wanders in. It's it's kind of one of those evening. I like. I can I can feel I can feel it in my soul that tonight will be a little bit of a slower show. Because there's a lot going on in the vaping industry, and a lot of people that have any vested interest in the vaping industry right now are kind of panicking. Um, Josh Main, is that Josh Main? Josh Main, my main man. What's up, Moxley? Mox, what are you doing up? Do you Max. want to come on the show, Mox? Put some pants on and come hang out with us. <clears throat> or just pan the camera up a little higher. <laughs> oh, that's true. You could just pan the camera up a little higher. That's the way. Yeah. Or you could just have, or you could just have the pants off, and I'll just age restrict the show, and then it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> See, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything about if I'm wearing pants or not. Pop, yeah, we pop. keep this a secret. We don't we don't talk about these out loud. Wagalicious. Mox just got up. Mister Burgundy, you smelly pirate hooker, whale's <laughs> vagina. We're doing it all tonight. You're getting the whole shebang tonight. Where's my jazz flute solo, butthole? Just waiting. Ronnie Rasmussen. What's up, Ronnie? Yeats is here. What up, Yeats? Yeats, hey, where's the popcorn? What up, Mike? Moose. Is Dust Moose here? Yeah. He is. I think he, he may actually make an appearance tomorrow. How's, how's Upstate Oregon treating you? Upstate, he keeps saying New York, but I, I'm still not convinced. Like that's a that's a like everybody has a running gimmick. But like the only thing I could think up with for Moose, unless I was gonna do like a Rocky and Bullwinkle thing, is just I just tell him he's from Oregon all the time, even though he lives in upstate New York. Like he's probably like right next door to Addie Tooney. Like if you look out your window, you probably see him out there just spinning some fire. Yeah, he's out back in the field. What's up, Bob? Rob Scanlon, what up, homie? Say, Moose, Moose sent a bunch of pictures. He, uh, <laughs> there's actually one picture of him as Lucifer. And, yeah, it's he's creepy. He can be creepy when he needs to be. He's just a good dude, though. Oh, hell yeah. David Humpston. What's up, Dave? You like Dave or David? Dave or David, man. Dave. James Rivera. Brother the Buick, James. The, the Buick is in the lot. Oh, you I listen you. while you have a shower. See how you're feeling after you get clean. We only go for an hour and a half now on Fridays, Mox. So don't spend too long in there pleasuring yourself to thoughts of me. <laughs> uh, taking up Viking ways. Nice. You just got to grow your beard out, plate your hair, plate your hair, and then. Um, Show up unannounced on the shores of England. England's England's a huge fan of people with long beards and plated hair showing up unannounced on their shores. Vape Ross vape. Vape Ross vape. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> they just call you Hump? I'll just call you Hump, man. David Hump. He's the he's the, we he like the Hoff, he's the hump. Like with my last name, all I've been known is fresh for God knows how long. Like I very rare. I get at work. I get called. I get called my name at work, and I get called my name by my parents. That's about it. <coughs> my room. My roommate still calls me fresh. So. Somebody else calls you your name too. The Nassus. <laughs> Who else? Who else calls me? Our our favorite uh, lady vape, who got out of the game. 
who ran um Oh, Candy McCann. Yes. Yeah, she did she did want to call me she did want to call me by my first name. Anybody who's wondering my first name's Dustin. Enjoy. Enjoy. You got a you got a you got a fact out of me tonight. <laughs> Moxley that's calls a, you right, Dustin. That's too. right, Mox. If you if you do use it, people are like, "Who's that?" Nurse has been calling me by my first name, and I keep just looking around like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I don't know <laughs> this name. I don't I used recognize. To, name. I used to be like that, and then people just like, I just gave up. I just gave up. Like, if you're on Facebook, it, I mean, I'm so easy to find because I'm in like any DIY group. If you just look for, if you look for anything remotely close to my name, they're just like, oh, there he is. Don't send me a friend request, by the way. If you find me on Facebook, please don't send me a friend request. I'm not going to. I'm not going to accept it. And it's nothing against you. I have to say this, like, like once every two months. I have to say this like once every two months to people. Please don't get mad if I don't accept your friend request. I hate Facebook. The only thing, the only people that I'm friends with are people that I'm actually, that I'm actually friends with. And then my family, because I have to keep in touch with my family. And I keep track of birthdays that way. And that's about it. Ellie, get out from under there because you're going to make, you're going to break something. I know it. Come on, go. The giant beast wants to uh, be part of the show. So. I, I don't feel bad, Vape Ross Vape. I ice everybody on Facebook. You, I should go back and find your friend request and accept it. Vape Ross Vape is my friend. He's got my phone number. I've got his I phone number. I don't have your phone number. You have Facebook. You don't need it. There you go. <laughs> see Lumi calling you at 4 or 5 in the morning. There Fresh, you go, I'm bored. Let's, let's go Twitch something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to go play something on Twitch? I've been playing Hearthstone. Paul, yes. Yes, I have lost weight. I'm down less than what I weighed when I graduated high school. Wow. Damn. I have a friend of mine who quit smoking, started vaping. He's been on keto. And you've seen relatively how thin I am. And this guy mm -hmm. was a big old farm boy. Uh, he's like, hey, what what pair, of, what size pants are you wearing? I'm like thirty four. He goes, yeah, I could wear thirty four. I'm like, yeah, you can. And then of course, then he wants to get on about uh, you know, oh, you guys cut out the sugar in your diet. And I know you Italians, you like your carbs and all that. I'm like, yeah, I do. And I'm and don't even talk to me about my carbs. And you, I'm just shutting you down right there. I said, you want me to make you some juice? I'll make you some juice. Don't tell me about my carbs. <laughs> well, see, I <clears throat> I bought some new work clothes because it's hot as balls here. Um, and so I wanted some lighter work clothes. So I went and bought a pair of, uh, I've been wearing size 30 for forever. Like that's, mm -hmm. I've always been, I've always had a 30 waist since, since high school. They're loose on me now. I have to wear belts on my 30 pants. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck happened to me? Bicy bicycling around in like 95 degrees. Yeah. I think when I was in high school, I was like a 26, 28 and then went to 30 for in like my early twenties. And now I'm at 34 and 30. It's weird. I'm more of a 33, but to find a 33 isn't easy. So it's like 34 with a belt or 32 and it's cutting me in half. I was probably at 28 when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I said, Eddie Tooney, I just keep, I just keep shedding the weight. Like I, I bicycled the entire winter, the entire winter here. It's not gonna. That's not. I'm probably gonna get an exercise bike for like back there in the corner, like right back there. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll put my laptop there and do live streams from my exercise bike. But that'd be kind of gross because it'd just be me sweating, going. <laughs> oh, so how was your how was your week, Frank? What you where'd you wind up? I stayed. I stayed close to home all week. I was. I stayed in the Carolinas all week. I didn't do anything special. Hmm. And I got done today about two and a half hours ago. Not bad. And then finally, about less than an hour ago, DHL showed up with this giant package courtesy of Marcelina. You can see the Mullenberry. Someone's, right. getting, a complete, someone's getting a complete line. Oh, uh, yeah. She gave me the Nick Evans treatment. Yeah. She's the nice one guy. shots are in there, all the new stuff. Yeah. Sweet. And then poor Tam, I was talking to her today. She was like, yeah, I paid for express shipping 
and oh. did not, and, and she's still waiting since the first of the month. I'm like, well, you know, Polish planes sometimes they fly backwards. It's true. Or <laughs> or they shipped it through Italy, and you're never gonna fucking get it, Tam. <laughs> Hi, Tam. And pee yeah, dog, man. pee dogs here. Dog. Sonia, Sonia's in the house. What up, Sonia? More people than I expected tonight. I, I don't know why. I just felt like there wasn't gonna be all that many people tonight. People warming up for tomorrow, for the Kind Groundathon tomorrow. Yeah, just a reminder, everybody, that the Kind Groundathon is tomorrow morning. Um, I'll probably I'll probably simulcast for all of about five minutes, and then I'm gonna shut the stream off on my channel, and you're gonna have to go over to Wayne from DIY or Die's channel. So, Saturday DIY or dying, with Fresh O3 and friends. So, so. you see, uh, speaking of DIY, and you see what Rin's been up to. I know her shit looks nice. Look at that! Holy, oh. right? Way more organized than my than my stuff. Oh, yeah, I've been organized and. My Instagram game's been weak. I didn't see that. Like, I didn't see that earlier. Halfway time. I want to play. Uh, so, at number two, Addy Tooney, because he's the shit. How was your week, brother? <laughs> it was good. Um, my apprentice is still alive. Um, the wife and I have been going on walks when the weather permits. Nice. Walking down to the river, and yeah, it's been nice. It was a good week. I like it. I like it. That's a good way to spend a week. Yeah. We go to the doctor's Monday, and I think she starts getting, uh, hopefully get, starts getting her uh, expanders filled up. Good. Good, good, good. Things progressing nicely for, for Mrs. Yeah. Tooney. She's such a lovely lady, too. Yeah. Such a, I'm, glad, I'm, glad things are, I'm glad things are going as well as they are for her. Thanks, Freshie D. Yeah, yeah, I'm a lucky guy. Yeah, you are. She's, she's, she's an absolute doll. Alpha Jack. What up, Alpha Jack? From New York. I say, is he only saying hi to people from New York, or is he saying he's from New York? I'm not hi, from Jack. New York. I'm not from New York. I'm just saying hi. <laughs> I'm just saying hi. I'm taking that hi. Ronnie Rasmussen, what up, man? And uh, I don't understand that super chat. Lumi, can I have a Bronski for charity? What's a Bronski? That's what to, I'm curious. You're gonna have to fill us in, vape, Ross, vape. Or do I need to Google and, and regret my life choices? <laughs> Urban Dictionary. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I mean, is a Bronski where you like? Is he asking you to like sit on his face and fart? I'm not sure exactly what he's asking for. I'm just I'm just making assumptions that it's something awful. <clears throat> That's right, upstate New York and Portland. I thought you were thinking about moving to Eugene, though. But I mean, Portland is about as upstate Oregon as you can get. Because if you drive across a bridge, you're in Washington. So, Vapor House Vape says no. Hey, I found a nice little hack for uh, MechMod users. Let's say, uh, ooh. Ooh. You get, you get this gray Scotch Bright. Mm hmm. It's um, the very fine Scotch Bright pads. It's comparable to double zero um, steel wool. And it works great for cleaning up your contacts. Ooh. Without being too uh, aggressive. I like it. Chevy man, boo yeah. Yeah. Michael Whitehair, always cooking up something lovely. Michael. Yeah. Always cooking up, I, I, I love and hate his Instagram because it's like he's got a picture of a sweet mech mod or something and then there's like, hey Fresh, I made a pizza casserole tonight and it looks <laughs> fucking amazing. I'm like, pizza casserole? It's like How about those noodles toys? and pepperoni? Like I'm totally, I'm totally okay with all of this. Can you come over to my house and cook that Michael White here? Or I those. fried it. I sm I smoked, I smoked a, I smoked a pot roast today for six hours. Fresh O three. Like son of a bitch, that sounds pretty good. Cool. Double smoked baked potatoes. Oh, yeah. oh they look so good. Oh. See, I have the whole weekend off, so I, and the weather may not be shitty. I may have to break the smoker out. There we go. So Bronski apparently is when a woman puts a chest in your face and make a motorboat sound. I thought that was just called motorboating. But yeah, that's what I thought too. I've been I've been educated tonight. Thank you, Vaporos Vape. I learned I learned all sorts of stuff today. And you guys learned something about me. There you go. It's a it's a give and take. Give and take relationship we have with each other. All the lovely people on the on the on the chat. So um 
Let's see here. Let's see here. Should we? Uh, we haven't even asked Lumi. Lumi, uh, how are you feeling this oh. week? Peachy. Peachy. What else did you, did you? What did you? What did you get yourself up to? I know you. I know you said you did a ton of braiding. What else you get? Um, what else you get up to? I've been braiding, working on some resin stuff. Building myself a little work table so I can have a little place to do resin and sanding. Come um, on, it was fun on your washer dryer. Oh no, I plan on doing some of the stuff still on the washer and dryer, just not the sanding bits because I notice that um, little chunks of resin get into the washer machine. <laughs> Don't want to clog that pump up, that would not be good. <laughs> What's going on with Cedar Point? Swag, is it like overcrowded this year or is it too hot, too cold, too up and down? No, you never know. Steve O's here. What up, Steve O? Steve O. What were you doing with that silicone on your washer dryer? Um, it was kind of blue, it was kind of white, I was kind of confused. Okay, so when you are making your own personal silicone mold, you can use household 100% silicone, and then to work with it, you can either add two parts cornstarch, one part silicone, and you can make yourself a mold. They're not the best molds in the world, but if you're going to sand them down, it works out. Or you can use Dawn dish soap, and you can knead it like it's bread, and work with it that way. So the blue stuff was Dawn? Yeah. I got it. So did your mold work? Um, not the way I wanted it to. But, um, but you came out with some kind of a mold? Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's raining too much. Oh, okay. That's what's going on at Cedar Point. I have to repurchase some resins so that way there I can continue to play with them. I haven't been able to fill some of them. I've only gotten to do one of them so far. Have you sold any of your awesome uh, build stands? Um, a couple of them. I've sold two of them. Good. Hopeful that my owls and the rest of these guys will be taken off my shelf so I can get to my flavors. Let me see your owl again. Let me check out Lumi's owls. I got a... What's up, Batch? White one. He's got a little snowflake in his tail. Oh. Snowflake butt. Snowflake butt. And then a little purple one. I like the purple one. A little pink one. They're awful cute, Lumi. And then my newest one is this shimmer shimmer one that's pretty cool it's a shimmery black color very cool i'm excited there's that bachelor out there yep he's now in the uh i, I think we're downgrading him back to the seven circle aisle oh Hello. it's been nice the last few days it's been like low 80s and a little bit drier and early in the week it was just like 70 and like 130 percent humidity mm -hmm. and then you get saturated from the rain and then it would just be even more miserable oh. yeah this yeah last couple days yesterday and today have been spot on been perfect larry got his lumi braids today He's been like my my best customer so far. Awesome. I know you were saying like nobody knows your first name when I got the envelope with the braids in it. I'm like, who the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> it it depends on where I'm going with it. Mr. Lumi prefers me to not tell people my name. So some people get my P.O. box and some people actually get my house address if if I know them fairly well, so it just depends on who gets what. It's smart to be careful. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Especially on Twitch. 
Especially anywhere anymore. You just never know. People are crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so, should we get into the news? No. Speaking of crazy, yeah. Uh, so, uh, the first story I put up in the group is... Um, it was about the California Democrats have accepted uh, money from Jewel. They took them as a sponsor for their uh, Democratic convention. So I'm assuming that Jewel will have some lobbyists there and some people to speak. And maybe shit will stop going sideways in California. I kind of doubt it. But yeah. I kind of doubt it. But, I mean, it can't hurt. But, uh, yeah, apparently uh, the media got a hold of that and has been uh, just whipping <laughs> up a firestorm. And it's like, wow, it's like I can't it, wait. <laughs> it's like how many how many sit like how many tobacco companies, how many alcohol companies have also sponsored this in one way or another. And yep. and you're 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 pitching a fit because Jewel's there? Jewel has to at this point Jewel has to go and do shit like this. Like they have to go out and put on as good a public face as they can, get lobbyists out there, get people talking positively about their product. Like they have to. Because they, like every time you turn around, it's jewel, jewel, jewel. States are suing oh, yeah. jewel. State states attorneys are trying to sue jewel. It's like, it's like, you're not going to go anywhere with this. You know you're not going to go anywhere with this. Why are you wasting taxpayers' money doing this? I don't understand. But they keep doing it. So jewel goes out and does something like this, where you know they're gonna have some people there. They give a little money to the Democratic convention. Like I said, they're probably barking up the wrong tree trying to sponsor the Democrats, but. In California, I mean, like ninety percent of the ninety percent of the of the area is going to be Democrat. So I suppose it's I suppose you know trying to cover as big of an area as they can. But yeah, the uh, yeah everybody like everybody's pitching a fit about this. Like, what's what's wrong with them giving some money to to a political convention and trying to get trying to get put on a good face there? Like I don't get it. But that's the first piece of news I saw. I saw when I was looking through it was. And that's been going on all week, like that. Like they've just been, they've just been harping on Jewel for doing this. Like I don't. I do, I do like Jewel's strategy because you figure they still have the manufacturing in San Francisco for the time being. They're opening up a manufacturing facility on the East Coast in South Carolina. They're opening up a like a sales type office in Texas. So they're basically, you know. They're going to have both ends of the country and the middle to, to, to cover everything. And they're, you know, putting money in people's pockets by creating jobs. So hopefully in some parts of the country, you know, it won't be as bad. But South Carolina, the, the people upstate are angry that Jules going into Columbia. And it's just like, well, you have BMW, so why don't they have something to create jobs? They may not be the best jobs, but it's jobs. Yeah. I mean, you're just, snapping, go to, you're just gonna be sitting there snapping pods into jewels, but because everything's I'm coming in from China. Go to uh, to Tennessee, probably the most friendly vapor state there is. South Carolina, though, is very tax friendly to any kind of business. That's why BMW's here. That's why Mercedes is here. Well, in South Carolina, and that's why Vol Volvo just opened up a new assembly plant. Because they also like the fourth biggest producing tobacco state fourth yeah, or fifth around although yeah. i'm not sure why they have to ship the tobacco to to new zealand or not new zealand uh switzerland yep they should they have to ship it to switzerland to get it to come back because there's like three nicotine manufacturing places that manufacture the liquid nicotine and they're all in switzerland well over by where juice fairy lives there's an entire tobacco farm that is strictly for extraction. It's not for smoking. It's yeah. owned by, I don't want to say it's owned by Perillum, but I think they have something to do with it. And what's the other one? What's the, the one that uh, Nick River uses? They, um, not their not name, one, the other one. Nick Abir, not Nick. Uh, no, it's not Nick yeah, Abir, it's the, No, it's the other one. Yeah, I know, I can't think of it either. Yeah, they're. It's good. That, they're, yeah, they're Kevin nicotine Obatic. coming out of North Carolina. Kevin Novatic. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Liquid Barn uses the same thing. Liquid Barn uses Kevin Novatic as well. And so Kevin Novatic is also anybody, tied in with Mulberry. Like anybody who thinks that they're that they're getting something special when you buy nicotine from a store, you're not. It's all the yeah. it's all the, it's it's like all the same companies doing the exact same thing. The only difference is what they cut that what they cut it with with their PG. Yeah. 
or VG or whatever. So, yeah, extraction would be big money, I'd imagine. So, thanks, Dos Moose. Dos Moose, tell anybody to, to smash that li that lick button. What up, Pippa? Pippa in the house. Anyway. anyway so, so I, I, I'm really curious. So, when Jewel passes a PMTA. No guarantees on that. We'll get into that later, but. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. now it looks like they're only going to have 10 months. Um, I, I'm just curious whether they'll make it. Yeah. Well, they'll make it a little bit more friendly for people behind them or not. Well, I mean, if they get through, all the other pod devices can certainly get through because they're all using equivalent technology. And so a little pod with a little coil, a little bit of wick, as long as you're complying with the same standards that Juul is, there's no excuse for the FDA to kick you out. Will no they excuse. use their, will they use their super secret technology? What, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. To say, to get past the PFDA <laughs> where nobody else can. It's not going to be super secret. It's not going to be super secret for long. Cause no, it's going to be wide open. Yeah, the FDA is going to make things public. I, I have no doubt about that. I have no doubt about that. You're going to be able to go and look at anything you want here shortly. But anyway. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, that's that's kind of a big thing going on. Lumi, any thoughts on uh, the Jewel sponsoring the California Democratic Convention? I mean, for me, when I read that, there's already vape conventions everywhere. This so. is this is a this is the Democratic political convention though. Oh, well then I read that the wrong way. That's a little interesting then. Yeah. Well I mean they sure, they sure as shit took their money and they're sure as shit not giving it back. So. How much jewel money would it take to get Nancy Pelosi to start hitting on a jewel? Jeez. Just occasionally ripping on one? Yeah. I would love to see that. Like she's just extra money, I think, to see that. She's she's just up there, like just losing her shit about like chemicals in 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 cereal or something like that. You know, typical Nancy Pelosi Tuesday, and all of a sudden she's like, "You know what I need? I need a I need a jewel break." I'm so fucking. I would be. I would be like. Like I don't like you at all, Nancy Pelosi, but that's okay. Yeah. You made me hate you just a little bit less today. Exactly, exactly. You made me hate you way well. Not, yeah, just a just a just a hair. Yeah, just less a touch. Today. Yeah, just a touch. Yeah, just have Our somebody creepy. follow her around with a jewel pod or something or a vape, and then be like, "Are you feeling frustrated enough that you want to smoke a cigarette? Here, here's a healthier alternative." And then just take a video of her just chain ripping it. That'd be awesome, uh, trucker. Uh, you might yeah, want to check. Have, you might yeah, want to check the gram. I'm, I'm, I'm going to message him right now. You're more than what you're more than welcome to come on during the Fresh O3 show. That's all. And I'm he's supposed to be coming on mine too. Okay. You're more, so. than welcome, you're more than welcome to hang out all day then. There's a crazy gizzard stews out there. Or Cleepy. I think we don't make a special announcement until Gizzard Chew until Gizzard Chew shows up. Yeah, we should we should hold out on his special announcement. We're boycotting he, he your special he, announcement, Gizzard Stu, until you show up in Zoom. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard because I like the other people involved. It's gonna be hard to boycott him until he shows up, but that's okay. We'll hang. We'll we'll see we'll see where things go. What up, Verb? So yeah, um, yeah, that was the that was story number one this week. Um, story number two was this lovely photo I got sent by Gizzard Stew. <laughs> what the heck? Thank you for not sending that to me, Gizzard. Oh, he did. If you checked the Facebook group messenger, he sent it to everybody. Yeah, you are in that Facebook group, Addy Tooney. But yeah, mm -hmm. Addy Tooney gets on Facebook even less than I do. <laughs> Addy Tooney gets on Facebook never. <laughs> And now we know why. We get nice. a picture of a digitalized gizzard stew taking a bath. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do this. Go ahead and copy this because I need to send that to my girl. I agree, Andy. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi would spit those sentences all a little bit better if she had a little nicotine in her, maybe. 
I know, right? She just sped right the hell up. Uh, you are hooked up, Mox. Uh, so the next one, the next one, Jewel sponsored a study, a study that showed that uh, e-liquid emissions are 99% safer than uh, secondhand smoke, to the surprise of absolutely nobody in the vaping industry. That's, that's what I thought when I read that. I was like, we already had this study done in California inside a vape shop. Yeah. Way yeah, to waste but, money. I mean, they, I'm, I'm certain they probably cannibalized some data. And when they got, when they saw that data, they're like, all right, let's drop a couple, let's drop a couple hundred thousand over here yeah. to this university. And they can come out and they can do the, they can yeah. do the study. Um, I mean, we all kind of, we all kind of knew it. We all kind of knew it at this point that like, you can vape around kids. You can vape around pets. You know, it's it doesn't hurt anything. Like vapor, vapors, vapors safer than being out on the street. Like if you're in a vaped up room, you're you're not inhaling nicotine, or if it is, or if you are inhaling nicotine, it's such a low dose that you wouldn't even notice. Um, and I mean, maybe if people like jeweled out a car, maybe that would be, maybe then you would get a little bit dizzy in there with them. But I mean, it's there's no there's no carcinogens in this stuff. We've we've known this for a long time. There's no carcinogens, and then when California backed us up, we're like, well, shit, we were right. Yeah. We were right. You know, this yeah. is like the fourth time I've seen this study done, but we were right. California is going to come out and say court in California without having to cause cancer. I know, right? Like, like you, if you go to if you go to get a drink out of the water fountain, it says that this water is known to cause cancer in the state of California. Like, yeah, yeah so Mark fifty one shit. My chair causes cancer in the state of California and birth defects. That's right. I'm pretty sure mine does too. Pretty sure my chair my chair also does that. I'm pretty sure Adetunia is known to cause cancer in the in the state of California, and that's just ridiculous. Addy Tooney cures cancer. He doesn't give cancer. He cures cancer. You better understand that, California. Well, is, is that mean that uh, Joe Biden, if he gets elected, he's going to look to Addy Tooney to uh, live up to his campaign promise of curing cancer? Oh, well, I mean, God. he certainly should. Like, like Addy's custard original version. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I had lung cancer before I started vaping on that. <laughs> pretty sure. I, I would share the recipe, and man, no pharmaceutical would make billions off of me. The recipe is just having you rub people's bellies. That's how you cure cancer. <laughs> They're going to be shipping you all over the world just to rub people's bellies. You know, everybody has to come to Spokane in the summer. I mean, it's hot as balls here. Like it's been up. It's been up in mid nineties the last couple of days. Seattle was wow. actually hotter than we were yesterday, though. That cr that cracked me up. I'm like, winning. <laughs> I, got, I got out just in time, but I'm sure Spokane will make me regret that here shortly. Like Seattle, Seattle will drop back down to seventy five, and Spokane will continue to be ninety five degrees. Actually, it's supposed what? to drop back down to the mid eighties, and that sounds like I've only been here about a month, <clears throat> and the mid eighties sounds good. <laughs> what you vaping on there, Fresh O3? I'm vaping on the uh, blueberry cheesecake from Tuesday. Uh, I mean, because we because uh, we've got something going on, possibly. Uh, we'll find out here shortly. Um, does Mister Lumi know that? Does Mister Lumi know that we're vaping on Lumi's blueberries? No, they, well, then they, they, you got something going on. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. uh, he should be aware. He's hung he's hung around before the show a couple times. Mm -hmm. Okay. He even ducked down to say hi and wave once. Exactly. He seems perfectly fine with me. Cool. I mean, I'm just a face on a computer screen at this point, but you never know. <laughs> Mr. Lumi has... Mr. Lumi puts up with me. So, come on, let's be honest. Do you He's think there's anybody that fellow. he can't put up with? He's like, honey, that weird guy's out there again. I'm going to take a shot at him. Like last night, he gave me money to go get some groceries, and I had a little bit left over, so I got my sister and I matching machetes. Sweet, very nice. Costco sells machetes now. No, it was at Walmart in the camping section. Walmart definitely sells machetes. Yeah. 
Addy Tooney's <laughs> breaking out his machete. Is that homemade, Addy Tooney? Yeah, it's it's uh needs some work. It's been hanging around forever. I like it, Addy Tooney. <laughs> if you're ever interested in finishing that and shipping it to somebody, let me know. Okay. I bet yeah, my old one Walmart I think sells AR-15. So, like, I just break it out of the sheath and like it just sets things on fire. It's gonna be fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, so, Lewis Knight, what up, Lewis Knight? How you doing, man? I was surprised those machetes were only four dollars and some change. They're probably, probably not the, not the best in the machete. world, but I have a sharpening stone, so. I was gonna say, I'm gonna sharpen the shit out of that. Re rejected Hyundai Springs. Mm. Uh, so, Frank, what were you hauling this week? I'm Honda, Honda, and more Hondas. I mean, lot of loads were pretty. See, no, the CRZ went out of production already, didn't it? They're yeah, CRZ, that was <laughs> that flopped. They're just making that really, uh, they're really sporty Civic now. Yeah. Yeah, we have like the type. Yeah, nice the Type R too. comes over from the UK for now. They're getting ready to close that plant next year or 2021. Shit. And they're th we're thinking they're going to bring that production over here either to Allison, Ontario, since they already have all the VTEC technology up there, or they may expand the plant in Greensburg, Indiana, something like that. Well, at least Maybe Ohio, there, since they shut down the second shift for the Accord. That is a... They said, really? Yeah, starting uh, August first, they're only going to run one shift. I thought Hannes was like was like the number one selling vehicle out there. I think Toyota everyone everyone's that. buying CRVs and the new Passport oh. and the yeah. HRV, and but their Accords aren't selling like they did. <clears throat> I think they're starting to price themselves out of the market. Mm. And LX is pushing thirty thousand. Lumi, check your Instagram. Vapor House Vape wanted me to tell you. Vapor House Vape. I think Fresh, he I think he doubled that. my I think I think during the show he's doubled my monthly income from YouTube. He may have. Did you find a couch? Fresh over three? So I guess I can talk about this before we get into the serious the really serious business of what of what happened this week. Um so I found a I found I found a couch I really, really like. I found it in person at a store. And I really, really liked it. And I was about to buy it. I was about to buy it there. And they were telling me that it was going to be like two weeks for delivery. And I was like, well, shit, I can probably get it cheaper online. I can probably get it in two weeks online. So I, I did. I found it for I found it for about a hundred bucks cheaper online. And so I ordered it from this online place. And it was supposed to be two to four weeks shipping. Um, I got an email like three days later that. Uh, that they weren't going to be stocking that model of couch. They didn't know when they were going to be getting it back, so they refunded my money. And so I was sitting there Wednesday, and um, this was Monday. They canceled it, and Wednesday the money had hit my account already. So I was I was pretty happy about that. Um, so I'm probably just going to go back to the store and buy it in person. I'll probably do that tomorrow, and then just you know accept the two week wait. But, How much for delivery? It might be worth it up three. Uh, their deliveries like a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna wind up. I'm gonna wind up. It's a it's a two thousand dollar couch, but it was on sale for eight ninety nine there, and then it dropped. Uh, I got them to price match. Um, the internet price down to down to seven down to down to seven ninety nine, and so I'll probably just pay the seven ninety nine plus tax plus shipping, or plus uh, delivery. And I found out something about Washington State that just really blows my fucking mind. Um, they ta they tax delivery. They what? did it here in North Carolina now too. All services are taxed. Yeah, they so they they charge you sales tax on on delivery. God, buy yeah. your chair on Amazon then. Well, on Amazon on Amazon it's a fourteen hundred dollar couch, Lumi. Why would I do that when I can spend nine? I ain't gonna want to be in like nine eighty. Something like yeah. that. Nine sixty nine. Find a new couch on Amazon then. Well, I found the couch that I like. <laughs> Overrated fresh. 
you haven't sat on this couch, Addy Tooney. <laughs> it was ju it was just the right amount of softness. It's got high backs. It's got a, it's a sectional, so I've got a nice I've got a nice uh, chaise lounge, so I can just I can just plop on there after work like. What's the sleep? How many how many does it sleep? Um, you could probably sleep two on it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I have a place to sleep but, now. But you could, but you can buy an ottoman, and then push the ottoman into it, and then it becomes like a queen size bed. And then Wait. I can do to you what I told Adam I was going to do. I told him I Just, was going to shit on his couch and scoot my butthole across his ottoman. <laughs> Fair enough. And you wonder why people don't invite you places. That's right, Sonia. Pretty soon they are going to they are going to tax us on breathing. Okay, Mox. <laughs> So yeah, let's. Uh, it's not cat proof, but it is. It is pretty. It's it's as cat proof as anything's ever going to be. Like there is no such thing as a cat proof couch. What sort of madness are you talking about? Matt Williams, what up, Matt? And Raymond Shadow. Matt. How you doing, Raymond? The doggo hanging out. Yeah, gum. Bigfoot, what up, Bigfoot? Got rolling out see, there. I always see him yeah. on the Instagrams. We, so have eight, we have 83 people watching right now, and this is definitely a warm up. We have Swaggy Shane mm. even trying to get us to do our special notice, but I'm still waiting for the special guest to come in to introduce I, the special. I'm thinking guest. it's going to be towards the end, if at all. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we all. are going to have a special guest here here shortly. So, How um, awesome is uh, VSO Flavors at Chef's? I know, right? VSO Flavors are now available at Chef's Flavors. That is not the special announcement. I'll save that one right now. So anybody that uh, is international or likes to order from chefs, while you're there, why don't you throw some BSO blueberry in your cart? It's there. You can throw some BSO strawberries, some BSO grape. Um, yeah. So there's all the flavors are over there. All, his quenchers are there, I think. All his one shots. This so. really excites me because there I feel go. like. And VSO blueberry. I guess the only proof of everybody here buying something off of there, it's VSO. What's we up, all JFM? need to come together and support a smaller business and introduce the greatness that is VSO to I everybody. Agree. I, I think it's got I think once people get I think once people get a taste of it, they're gonna be they're gonna be hooked. This is the sleeper strawberry right here. It's very good strawberry. What's up, Jig? Hey Jig. Jig. <laughs> and, so, and so, his grape, if you want to see a green seedless grape, there you go. So Jig, I've been losing weight, man. When do you like? How much? How much more do you think I need to lose before I start hitting the gym? I want the I want the ladies to know. I want the ladies to know that that Fresh O Three is. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get pretty. I'm gonna get pretty ripped. But then I'm gonna. But then I'm gonna. I'm gonna pack it back on. Pack it back on. Pack that muscle back on. So, I'm just. I'm just, like. How much? How much more do I need to? How much more do I need to lose? Who makes VSO vaping swag? Does, Fidalgo. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my question, Jake. Like, where, like, like, how much do how much do I lose before the ladies? You don't need to lose a thing, Jig. You don't need to lose a thing. I'm big for treats. Jig's the Jig's the sexiest <laughs> man on Insta Grizzles. He is styling. He says I'm good. I can start packing back on. <laughs> I was, saying, I was saying, I was thinking when this, when this weird belly flap thing that I got going on, when that disappears, when that pulls tight, then it's time to, then it's time to get crazy. I was still on the top chat. What the hell am I doing? What are you doing, Addy Tooney? This your first day on YouTube there, Addy? I think it is. <laughs> I'm always on live chat and then people will be like, oh, I posted a link and I'll be like, I don't see it. Are you blocked? Yeah. Where's your, where's your link? But Fidalgo, Fidalgo, I think you could, you should be able to get through. Uh, you should be able to get through uh, through chefs, like chefs. I'm pretty sure chefs ships worldwide, like they don't care. Yeah, they. If you're in a cave in Afghanistan, I'm pretty sure you can probably get chefs. Yeah, you get chefs some of that, that custard premium while you're there. Oh, yeah, yeah, pick up that custard premium. But I would, I would definitely pick up all the VSOs. While you're there, there. lemon custard donut. Premium there that lemon donut so good <laughs> the flavor that's so good they won't let it they won't sell it in the u.s <laughs> amy flavor of premium 
that flavor of corn, I'm starting to wonder if we're really supposed to be vaping that. That is so they, strong. They already told us we're not. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it grows. Just like that FA, that FA milk. We're really not supposed to be vaping that FA milk. Or their croissant. I'm pretty sure their croissant is like 85% diacetyl. I mean, we survive Flavor West. I think we'll be all right. Probably be fine. I mean, I still use Flavor West all the time. I use Flavor oh, West yeah. in this blueberry cheesecake. It's lovely. It's so good, Frank. It's like opening up a can of cream corn. It is. It's it's amazing. I have I have it here. I Nick talked me into uh, putting Nick Evans put talked me into putting in a cereal, and oh, off the shake it was good. You know, the cereal twenty seven trying to make a corn flake. And I'm like, oh, this is good. Then after a week later, oh yeah, this is really good. A couple weeks after that, it's like, whoa. Corn. I'm like, dude, you didn't tell me that corn just grew. And, and we're talking like, you know, toothpick drop, you know, just just a hair in a 30 mil, and it just totally took over. I love it with some cornbread. I I saw your mix for that. I'm like, hmm. All right. When I'm looking forward, I got that Mullenberry Legendary Custard. Mm. It's brand, I think it's pretty new. Uh, Nick Evans just released their mix with it, and it's in the box. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to mix that up. And I don't know how much of a way I'll have to look and see what he says for a steep time, maybe like seven days or something. But if I'm, if I'm letting anything steep seven days, it just means I forgot about it. Well, I want to thank you again. Um, for tomorrow, Frank. I know you're going to be a busy boy. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be busy. I mean, it's not just me. Uh, you know, it was Tam's baby to start with, and then I took it over to Wayne to get the most exposure, and it's grown into what tomorrow's going to be. I think tomorrow's going to be amazing. It's going to be yeah, a blast. I hope we can somehow come up you know, come up with $7,000 and break that 20000 goal. I think I, I think that'll happen. What up, Mark? Have you? What's up? I can tell I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I can, I can. What's going on? Oh, the famous Lumi. Finally, we get to meet. And um, what's up going on, Frank? I've got a face to the name now. Yes. Awesome. Awesome to uh, get a chance to chat with you. How's, how's Meg's doing? Uh, Meg's is doing really well. I just got a message from how's, her, actually. How's Meg's doing? Oh, give her give her a big hug for me, please. Oh, I so well. I there we go. That was my bad. I had to mute. Um, she's doing well. I just got a message from her before. Our next lot of hardware has come in for our next round of reviews, so she's all excited about that. And we've only just got our show back up and running again. We've been off air for the last couple of weeks, so we are back tomorrow. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. So your Saturday night to all you guys. <laughs> Uh, Back on the waves, on the airwaves. How have you all been? Everybody's, so we were we were just about to jump into the jump into the, the the hardcore meat of what's going on what's going on here in the U.S. as far as vaping go, goes. Go. Ready, I'm, Mox? I'm I, I I would love to hear I would love to hear an outside opinion on this because it's <laughs> yes. fucking ridiculous. Um, so, mm. Addy Tooney, Addy Tooney, Addy Tooney misinformed the vaping public earlier, but I didn't correct him. I want people to have hope. Um, so a federal judge has ordered, um, the FDA to start reviewing PMTAs within 30 days, not 10 months, Addy Tooney. It's three, it's 30 days, uh, 30 days to start reviewing PMTAs. The FDA has filed for an extension of 10 months. So there's hope on the horizon for, for the vape industry, but as it stands right now, they are going to have to start reviewing PMTAs within 30 days. Um, they've only just released the guidance, what, Tuesday, Monday? Monday or Tuesday, they, they just released yeah. the PMTA yeah. guidance on Monday or Tuesday. So people are freaking out, trying to get their PMTAs in, making all sorts of mistakes. I think they said only three of the PMTAs that have come across their desk are going to be acceptable. They're over 300 now. Over 300 people have applied for PMTAs. Only three of them are, are in an acceptable format. So well, that's isn't, there also, isn't there also uh, like 
the fee over here for the application process is rather substantial. It is. It's tens of thousands of dollars for the PMTA. It's and not as bad be, as we thought. If you want to be in the UK and do the TPD, it's like a hundred bucks. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, there's a big difference. Thank you, Addy Tooney. Drop in Mox links. I like it. Thank you. So that's where vaping stands right now. Right, Sonia? That's impossible, right? You, we, we've all been saying that's impossible. Like I read, I, when, I read the, when I read the two things coming together, I was like, the FDA is never going to be able to do this, ever. The FDA is never going to be able to pull this off. And if you read the PMTA guidelines, they're actually, they're actually not nearly as bad as anybody thought. Like there, there's a lot of wiggle room. The majority of it is suggestions. Like how much of the suggestion are they going to, are they going to mandate? Like there's there's questions to, there's questions to be had about like when like who does what when but as it stands right now companies have to comply with something that got released Tuesday within thirty days. It's unfeasible. It's fucking ridiculous. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Like that's that's how they're gonna try and shut you guys down with unrealistic demands bullshit like that where maybe one or two onto a companies who may be a bigger company will be able to uphold that but the smaller little guy and all the evil guy in between that's just going to kill people like ugh. shit man you you guys fight makes me so angry and i'm grateful that we don't have to fight the way you guys do but oh my god i feel for you guys hard eh thank you yeah <sighs> i mean it's it's gotten it's gotten like since the last time you were on, like it's gotten, it's gotten fucking ugly over here. Just ugly. I know. I've been watching, and I've been screaming, "Murphy <laughs> <laughs> Uh What's up, Big Doc? Big Doc. <sighs> Big Doc. So, are they are they trying to make justification out of, out of this by we're going to create more jobs because we're going to need more people to actually uphold this absolutely ridiculous request? Like, um, they... Well, I mean, what they're going to, I can already tell you what the FDA is going to do. They're going to find a friendlier judge and they're going to have that friendly judge give them that 10 month extension. Um, so, I mean, this 30 day, this 30 day thing is, it's not real. It's not realistic. There's no way they could do it. The FDA is not set up for it. They have no, like they just released their PMTA process and the wording of it's so loose that, I mean, theoretically, if you had the money, it wouldn't be that hard to get anything through, through the PMTA process. It wouldn't, that's theoretically. Now, the reality of it, like the, the 300 applications that they've gotten, like we don't know when these were submitted. So God knows how long, God knows how long it took them to get through these 300, 330? I want to say it's like 337 or something like that, PMTAs that have actually been submitted. We don't know. We have no idea how long it took them to how long it took them to get through those, and they rejected you know 334 of them, and three, three are are in an acceptable form that they haven't said okay to yet. So it's you know there's all sorts of just craziness going on, just just. Sorry, having a ghost moment. I don't know what's happening with my camera and the exposure. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone. Testing. But now. As far as like the, the application fees that these companies have to pay, it, they're paying it when they get accepted or are they paying it? No, you're paying it to get looked at. It's like how like the 300 and some odd ones that were rejected. You know, all those companies paid the, let's well, say. No, I, I guess rejected is, is a bad way of putting it. They're not in, a, they're not in an acceptable format. So, so they have to we go don't know if they, we don't know if the FDA is going to let them ride on the same money and submit it in an acceptable form because sometimes sometimes government agencies do things like that. Yeah. It's occasional. It's not it's not it's not necessarily the way things the way things go all the time. We don't know if those 300 330 something people are going to have to resubmit with more money. And if it's a small if it's a smaller company then like they're like, done. Like let's talk oh. about Dean from Coil Vapes. Like he's a smaller company. Um, he makes fantastic e-liquid. Like his, his stuff is top notch, top notch. Still the best vanilla custard on the market. Just one. Um, I haven't found. I haven't tasted. Yeah, 
I haven't tasted anything that'll beat it ever. No. Ever. It's so good. It's so ridiculously good. But he's a smaller company. Like if he submits his PMTA once and they throw it and they throw it back at him and he's not <coughs> able to and he's not able to and they don't let it ride and he's not able to get his application back together, like he's fucked. He's done. Yeah, like he, it's all he had his one shot at it. And that's what that's what I'm worried is going to happen to a lot of the a lot of the smaller companies, like the PMTA rules. You, if you look them over, like if you've got the money, it doesn't seem like it would be that hard to get something through, or at least. Kind of like what Stefan said, form. they want to see a picture of your Lamborghini in your garage. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's, yeah, I don't know, I don't. I don't know where the I don't know where this is going to go. I, I I assume they're going to get their ten months. If they don't get their ten months, then vaping here in the U.S. is 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 fucked hard. The um, idiocracy is winning, and I can't believe it's fucking winning. Yeah. Well, I was amazed at the response the FDA gave the judge about you know you're going to be shutting down all these businesses. You're going to be forcing people back to cigarettes, and it's going to be a huge detriment. To public health, I couldn't yeah. believe they actually came out and said that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've they've spoken about the public health benefits of e-cigarettes before. Like the FDA, like it's on file with the FDA. Like they know, they know that this is better. They know for a fact it's better. And like the new guy, he said one thing about vaping, as far as I'm aware. Um, the acting the acting head of the FDA. He, yeah. He, he never got confirmed. He's only said one thing, and that was that the jewel that the jewel crisis kept him up at night that's the only thing he's ever said about vaping like he's he hasn't said anything bad about it so next time we got dick durbin's you know panties in a wad but i mean it gets a tons of people i mean i'm sure nancy pelosi nancy pelosi was like i'm sure her her panties were in just like the biggest twist she's seen in in like three days since since someone put you know red number three in a red soda or something like that you know whatever 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 her latest her latest frickin', um, oh, what are they called? Pressure three's brain is gone. <laughs> tirades? <laughs> too many tirades, Eddie Tooney. Too many yeah. tirades. Oh, uh, I was like, when you go, like when you go and like back at, back in the medieval days when you would go from England to Israel. What was that called? Oh, uh, Exodus. Not the Exodus. Um. I'm not sure why this word is is escaping. Yeah, I know. I... Crusade. Crusade. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Addy Tooney. Thank God for Addy Tooney. I'll for the crusades. Yeah, exactly. Whatever her latest crusade is, like, I mean, they'll they'll turn they'll turn around and do something else. So I mean, it's it's frustrating and it's heartbreaking to watch going on, but. I'm hoping that like the equivalency, because they left a lot of stuff open for equivalency. Like if you can prove that something was around in like, if you can prove something had, you know, two or three, two or three lead or two or three, uh, two or three leads and was an atomizer back in the day, you can say this is the equivalent. Yes. Theoretically. Theoretically. Somewhat of an ad. So th there's a pretty big out in the in the in how they in how they've worded the FDA the FDA's uh, compliance guidelines. So, but who I mean who's got I mean who how many of them have the money? Does you know does does Brian from TVC have enough money to to get an equivalency for the drop? We don't know. We don't know. I'm go I'm just gonna assume that he's he's right. I'm just assuming he's he's rolling in his dram his uh his uh his uh drop Lamborghini and he's got his uh. No, he's got yeah, he's got the BMW X7 now. That's what it is. He yeah, stepped up from the X5 to the X7. Went no, but that was the top side money. That's right. He's got that. He's got that drop money now. Uh, not the not just drop money. He's got that top side money now too. So he's got a he's got a he's got a he's got a H1. He doesn't even have an, like an H3. Like he doesn't play that bullshit. He's got like an H1 Hummer sitting next to the sitting next to the X7. Yeah. Money rolling through. So I mean, it all. I don't know. I don't know. I uh, feel so bad for you guys that it, it 
it has gotten this bad. I remember three years ago, Fresh, when we first met, even that was probably over that now, you know, we were winching at the state of times then, and it was a hard life then for vaping. Well, fuck, is it just like gone and fucked itself up the ass two times over and rolled around in some FDA carpet on the way? Like, yeah. what? It's just, I can't believe how it keeps getting worse for you guys. Like, that's the, what's that word in the movie? Flabbergasting. Mm-hmm. It is flabbergasting, flabbergasting to see it. To see it. I mean, it's just, it started when they started releasing the data about the jewel, about the, their jewel study that they did. And they said that, and it was the fact that, that what was it, 25% of teens had tried vaping. Like, not vaped had tried vaping like okay how many of them how many of them tried alcohol in the same time period how, how many of them tried marijuana in the same time period how many of them tried smoking in the same time period the numbers are astronomically higher astronomically higher but vaping you know it's something it's something new it's something they don't understand so they just you know to, to roll with the crusade the roll with the crusade metaphor they start crucifying people just anybody anybody they can find and jewel right now uh, has enough money and they've got enough backing at this point jewel will be safe and they're the you know i'm i don't have a problem with jewel i really don't like they they did exactly what they said they were going to do from the start like they were going to make a lot of money they they created a product that's probably helped more people quit than the nautilus mini at this point like it's 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 a good it's a good product it's, a, it's yeah. a very good product. It just happens to be popular with kids. Like, are we going to go take Newport Newports off the market? I, that's a bad example because they are trying to take Newports off the market. Yeah. Are they going to take Marlboro Lights off the market because kids like light cigarettes? No. No, but they're going to, but they're sure as shit going to take, you know, strawberry cheesecake from people. <laughs> yeah, as a, as a parent of a teenage daughter... I don't know any of her friends that have not tried a jewel. They so, probably dug it, right? Oh yeah. This yeah. whole jewel fast, uh, topic is fascinating to me. It's here in New Zealand, but it is not a top market product here. It is not the way it is all over the news for you guys. It's it's just like it's just another pot on the shelf here. Well, doesn't it have to pull on the kids. Yeah, sure, it's one of those more accessible items, but it's not one of our cheapest pods. So it's not one of no. our cheapest starter kits. No. It's not one it's, of our cheapest products either. Nope. It's but. just another thing on the shelf. And like all of our experts here, because we've got our regulations, our official regulations are finally setting in in a couple of months. So that's all happening with um, our next legislation going to uh, be passed soon. And um, oh, I was recently in Parliament, uh, Fushi. Did you know about that? <laughs> I mean, I went and spoke to our parliament. Anyway, like oh, you all, did? all these experts that um, I met during this day at parliament, they were like, oh, and, and I met a Joel Rep actually, um, yeah. one of three of vape vendors in the entire room. And she was all like, oh, yeah, I'd love to have Joel on your show. And I was just like, I'm not promoting something that's causing such a big stir elsewhere that I'm not going to bring that drama to our country. I'm not promoting this that is absolutely causing so much strife for so many people I know, just as a product because of the teens, because of those statistics it's created. Like, what? Like, I actually, I see all this stuff in the news and I'm like, Joel. Because here it is. Over there for you guys, I can't believe the headlines it's making. It's it's outstanding to me. The, well, they did they did this. Today. I mean, they had smart marketing. That's always been Jules' thing. They've always been. Re- I mean, I'll, this is gonna. I'm totally gonna come to Jules' defense in this case. Um, like they've had really smart marketing from the beginning. Oh, don't, don't they've been. With they're, that they're, at all. they're a very well run business. Um, their goal was like an internet startup company. They were gonna make their money. And then they were going to sell out to somebody bigger. They, they lucked out that they didn't have to sell off to somebody bigger. They just sold a percentage of the company to Big Tobacco, not even a controlling interest. And they made like, what, $17 billion, $17 billion 13, or something? 17, yeah. yeah, I think it was yeah. 13 initially. Who knows what it's up to now. But Yeah, and that was just in one swoop. And they still maintain control over their own company, which is, you know, that's every internet startup's dream. Like, 
like you're going to pay me to run my own company the exact same way and you're going to give me the backup of all the of all the things that you've got sure why not um and they've done their part they've done the they they keep putting studies out they keep paying for studies they they go out and they advocate for themselves but you know by advocating for themselves they're advocating for vaping as a whole not not in the lobbyist sense where you know trying to get politicians on on people's side but you know they go out and they do put out this message that vaping is vaping is better they keep providing these studies they keep paying for it because quite frankly they're the guys that have the money and mm. anybody anybody in the vape industry who isn't who isn't kind of toeing the line with jewel you're kind of you're kind of making a mistake because they make they hold 75 percent of the market in the u.s and the u.s is the biggest vaping market in the world at this point so fine out there fresh ud What's that? Yeah, and I agree with everything he's saying there's, in chat. Yeah, there's Stefan. Yeah, so I mean, it's anybody who, like Jewel, like it would. I would love to have Jewel on. I would love to have a Jewel rep on. I would love to. I would love to talk to them about their business strategies, their marketing strategies, what they're doing for that, vaping that as a whole. That would be a different show than just reviewing the pod. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you want, if you want, if you wanted me to review the pod, I would. I would take one rip off of it and say that gave me a headache. It tasted okay. Yeah, probably can you every, make, yeah. the same thing I've ever said about Jewel. Like it tasted okay. Like it's not, like I'm an e I'm an I'm a I'm an e liquid guy. Like I I will dissect the shit out of your e liquid if you give it if you give it to me. Like that that's how I finally got companies to stop trying to get me to review e liquids because I was like, <laughs> listen, I'll tell I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break down the I'm gonna break down the ingredients that you're using. I'm gonna have them on a piece of paper in front of me. If I don't like your company and I don't like the things you're doing, I'll start telling people about it. <laughs> I would never do anything like that, but you know, it was just—it's a strategy, just like Jewel, just like Jewel. Jewel's got a strategy. Stefan, what up, homie? It's like I have some e-liquid I'm supposed to review, and they sent me an email the other day. It's like, oh, you haven't put the video out yet. I'm like, oh, I've been kind of busy setting up a fundraiser and stuff. I really haven't had the time. Plus, two of my show and everything else and like, well our promotion ends this weekend i'm like well i wasn't going to put anything in my youtube video about your giveaway because that violates youtube policies as oh. i'll throw it on instagram all day but not on youtube yeah and it's nick saw saying yeah the same thing they gave me a headache yeah and, and that was only a 25 milligram yeah not 50 so like the jewel. I, no. I just can't say i can't do them yeah so i, I mean would, they're they're straight they're, up in a so yeah, that's all it is. Is you know anybody anybody who isn't kind of supporting Jewel at this point, like I, I don't understand what you're doing because they've got the money, like they're they're your hope. They're your hope in the next thirty days vaping. I'm like, not if the thirty if the thirty days holds up, like I'm not against them with the advertising. Exactly what you're saying. They've got the money. Yeah. They're doing it right. They've got the plan. They've yeah. got the and money the, behind them to implement the plan. All of those things. It's just that target with the the young ones, effectively, how that has exploded and that concept with those handful of teens or however many it was that's created yeah. that first just that got hold of them, they're underage, they're telling their mates about it, they're sharing with their mates. That headline that went explosive all over the globe, that's what our experts here are listening to, is the bullshit tabloid media. Yeah. rather than actually having oh, conversations with the company because their message is still the same. Vaping is the healthier alternative. I disagree with the propaganda that goes around those media headlines and, and perpetuating that. Okay. So, yeah, well, I mean, it's that... easier for them. I mean, it's, it's easier for them to just take, you know, a bullshit headline, not do any research to find out whether it's bullshit or if it's the truth, splash it out there. Their job's done. They're, they're, they're kicking back with their kids, hang, you know, having their steak dinner at home and their job's done. Oh, Dan, Jewel didn't start the epidemic. No, let's, let's be fair, started let's be fair to Jewel. Yeah. None of the, none of this, none of this stuff that happened, that's been happening is their fault. They, they made no, they made an attractive product. A couple of kids probably liked it and they probably told a couple of their friends. And then all of a sudden the landslides started. It's, it's the mm. press, yeah. the press is to blame for the, for the, for the epidemic. Like it's I mean, they may have had like it's one, still, still they one, have like five. one questionable, uh, one questionable marketing campaign, like way back in the beginning, and then all of a sudden they realized, oh, we, wait a minute, we 
can't have this and they pulled it yeah it was in uh, some some magazines that were catered more towards uh younger people and maybe some you know either social media or tv outlets something like that cable television yeah and i mean it's just been it's just been ridiculous how the national press has jumped onto this they created the monster they're the ones that created a, a company with 75 percent of the market share like jewel wasn't jewel wasn't doing that good before all this started like they they the, the press put them in people's like they made up the jeweling thing they they put jewel in everybody's mind like it was just another product on the market before all this happened. Like, sure, they had it. Sure, it was a good selling product, but and they had it was just distribution. another product. What's their that distribution adding? was amazing. Yeah, their distribution's incredible. Like when they got when they got themselves in the convenience store, when that that was brilliant. Oh yeah, that was every C store in the country. On, on what else? Newegg. They were on Newegg for a while. Where yeah, else did yeah. they? Where else were they? they? Anywhere that was techie. Anywhere that was techie or anywhere that was... Weren't they even on Amazon techie. before they kind of pulled it? What's that? Weren't they even on Amazon at one I point before Amazon, Amazon pulled all that stuff? Yeah, so, I mean, they, they, they're they a brilliantly run company. Like I said, I would love to get a jewel rep actually on the show and actually sit there and talk to them. Like, I would, I would love to. I'd love to have that conversation with them. I would invite Stefan Didak, too. Stefan would totally be down to down to hang out with the jewel guys. I look, I look with Stefan just out there. What they've their total marketing campaign, how much they've ever spent. I want to be a fly on the wall for that conversation with Stefan Didak. And a there you go, Stefan. Stefan pointing something out. Jewel has spent less than 500k on that on their first ever marketing campaigns. And it's been word of mouth since. Like they don't, they, like they do have some advertising out there, but it's <laughs> nothing big. Is it? It's not like you're gonna flip on the nightly news and see see Jewel. If it was late night news, you might see Jewel pop up. But, yeah, or people that support Jewel, like Fox News and things contracts. like that. A couple of a couple of people that like it. But yeah, I don't have a anybody. I don't have a problem with Jewel. I don't have a problem with Jewel at all. They're doing they're doing what they do for their own self interest, and in the, along the way they're helping everybody else. Like they're paying the money for these studies that have to be included with your PMTA. Why don't you grab Jewel's Jewel's air quality study that they just put out? Slap it into your PMTA. Part of your, part of your stuff's done because you can you can use other people's research. You don't have to use your own research for the PMTA for anybody that's out there trying to put a PMTA in. If somebody happens to be walking by or stumbles into the channel and you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on, you can use other people's studies. You can use Public Health England. You can use the things out of California. You can use the things the CDC did. You can use Jules studies. You can put all those studies as long as you reference them correctly in the format that they want. You can use anything. You can use any of that research that you want. To get through your PMTA, like it's it, like I said, it's why the the PMTA the way the process is it's wide open. They have suggestions that they would like you to do. Uh, if you don't do them, they're probably going to kick your shit back. But they're just suggestions. So theoretically, you can do the bare minimum and get through. It. Theoretically, they're not they're never going to take the bare minimum. By the way, anybody. <clears throat> there we go. Maybe we yeah. should just have, just get Stefan on, and he can start spilling the beans on all the Jewel stuff. Well, he says he's contractually he can't. He's not allowed to publicly talk. When he, <laughs> when he quits, when he gets bored, yeah. when he's made his Jewel money and he's ready to, and he's driving his Lambo, and, and he's got his private jet back, and they finally scrub Southwest off the side of it. <laughs> Wing by New Zealand, come pick me up in that private jet, Stefan. You mean so, me, we need to chat? Who's I'll, picking me up? I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming along with Stefan if he's going to New Zealand. I'm totally coming. Uh, Stefan, yeah. I invited myself. Too bad, man. Me we too? gotta pick up Danielle on the way. Me too. Well, me too. Oh, Everybody that's can right. go. San Francisco is going off right at the minute, isn't it? San Francisco. San Francisco has lost several lemon mines. They want Baber gone. Oh yeah. I randomly, uh, I can't remember what day it was now, a few days back, possibly even a week back now, I randomly caught a Stefan video on YouTube of him live streaming. Uh, it was all the public, um, the objections to why the ban shouldn't happen. And I didn't get a chance to watch all of it. It was a few hours long. Um, but I saw a few and I was just like, all these people. And it's like, I felt like it was pleading to the universe it saved my life don't take vaping from me and i hope they were here i hope they were hearing it why are they not hearing it why does san francisco want to ban vaping completely like what is up one of the most know. 
liberal cities, even over here in this corner of the world, I, you know, like, so liberal on many topics. Mm. What the fuck up is your issue with vaping? Well, what was it? The uh, the city controller said, oh, well, you know, we ban vaping. You know, we're not going to lose any money because it, we're still going to get the tax revenue when all those people go back to smoke. Yep. I'm like, you dick. Yep. And all the people get sick and the money's going back through health again because everyone's still getting sick. And Well, that's like <laughs> most of the world that promotes vaping, like, also, like in New Zealand and like in the UK, we're talking about socialized medicine where there's not big profits in, you know, in big medicine. In the U.S., it's like I saw one thing. I'm not sure if it, how accurate it was. It was basically saying that our Congress is bought and paid for by big pharma. It's pretty much true. Media yeah. and tobacco and and big yeah. charity. Big charity is a big thing. Yeah. Big health care. We get ducks. We get Beverly Hills banned everything. That's why we're doing the charity for the people that we are doing it for at the end of the month. Yeah. Because yeah, they, they only keep, they only keep a portion. Hmm. What's the MSA? Sorry, excuse my ignorance on American abbreviations. Amen. MSA, oh, well, well, she's from Austria, so I'm not quite sure what the MSA. Okay. MSA makes up. The, the, master, the, the, master the master settlement agreement. Ma yeah, master settlement agreement, yep. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that, yep. Is that like the TPPA? No, well, the master settlement agreement is something that was created in the 80s, I believe when or maybe early 90s when the uh, tobacco was basically big tobacco was forced to say yes smoking does cause cancer smoking is bad for you and they basically it was a because there was a big lawsuit like a big class action lawsuit against all the tobacco companies and they went to each state and said hey we will give you x amount of dollars based on your tax revenue from from cigarettes and this will go to you know you'll get this money back from tobacco as basically a penance for giving cancer to all these people and yeah. the state the states have turned around and they've put that in their budgets basically mortgaging their future that they're going to get all this tax revenue and then get and get money back from the tobacco companies and now that tobacco sales are down these states are in a panic because now their budgets are coming up short so the MSA is effectively going to save San Francisco's revenue. Save. It was, it was the state of California, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, so if you were a member of the state that signed up for the MSA, you couldn't sue tobacco. Yeah. yeah. You gave More the they gave away. <laughs> Which I believe was, I'm tr was there any states that actually there was two or three that didn't get on. Yeah, and that's it. And they're like small, tiny little states that doesn't, don't even really matter. Well, they matter, but they, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's you know, it's a blip. I can't believe we got this whole show's almost done, Fresh. Is it? Yeah, we, we didn't even get to mix our bread pudding. We didn't even go after the, after the bread pudding. I guess we can save that for tomorrow. Halfway through it, Tara decided she wants to turn into a mayhem puppy and just knock over all the boxes with my RDAs in it and spare parts and just all over the place and she keeps trying to scooch under my desk. Why is she so crazy, Lumi? Because I'm streaming. She wants attention. Only when I'm streaming, though. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised Ellie went laid down somewhere. I thought for sure she'd be want to be part of the show. And just maul me in front of everybody. Oh, now she's over here crying. Her little high pitched squeaks like no DC. Yeah, Ellie must have went to bed. She's not even like, out here. I feel like flabbergasted is too small of a word right now. And yeah. like just blown away. Like I it's, it's just you're you're pissed off, just like all of us are. What the fuck is your country even up to? <laughs> so frank if you get a chance can you check your email this yeah. i've got you with the devil sounds like it indeed Make sure i've gotten to the point where you. when these articles pop up on my screen 
I'm not even too surprised anymore. I'm just like, let's see how it actually rolls Got out. It. Okay. If there's something I can do, I'll do it. But if there's nothing I can do, I'm just going to see what this actually turns into. Discombobulated is also a very good word for it, Stefan. Yep. So, yeah. how many people are watching? Uh, 73. Yeah, that's what I got. 73. We lost 10, but I'm giving something away. We'll see if oh, they come they, back. They didn't know that. I'll give it a minute. I'll give it a minute. I want 75. Okay, well, in your minute, can I just tell you about my parliament experience? Yeah. Darling? yeah. Please, Please yes. Yeah, I remember seeing the video and it was amazing. I, yep. I was so happy for you that you got you to do that. that video. Okay, so you, you know Fresh, I don't actually leave the house much. So this was a big deal for me, like, all round. Um, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with my mental health, my anxiety, my physical health, and like me and my walking stick and Megan on my other arm, you know, like it was a big day. And, and the first time I'd ever been at our government buildings, like on the grounds. So I was just like emotions and all the things and then nervous, nervous as fuck, because it's the first time I have ever dealt with such an official audience. The, the biggest, you know, I feel like this was the, literally the biggest achievement of my life to date. Just being in the position to be able to speak to this room. Um, so we had members of parliament, we had health officials, CEOs, like all the top people of all of these organisations across our whole country who are all part of creating all health related policies when we have legislation upcoming. So the day that I spoke at was entirely around vaping and it was a forum to from all of our experts and I was the only community member in the country that spoke. Oh, and there goes my light. Um, and uh, it, it was just, yeah, like I felt great pressure like speaking for all of our country uh, as, you know, Joe Bloggs Vapor. Um, and we, we had uh, health officials, the statistic officials, people doing the research, all of these people, and we're talking to the policy makers. So this is all in regard to please hear us and our information um, in regard to what you're about to set in place for our regulations that are coming up. So I have 15 minutes to pour my heart out on the table, tell them my story, tell them my health improvements, tell them my candy flavors that, that stop me from vaping because that's first thing up on our table is they want to listen to the states and take away our flavors. Um, and that's the first time this issue's ever come up for New Zealand. So, you know, like you guys have been fighting this for ages, but this is a little, little country only just really sort of facing this stuff now. And uh, I, I had a wee cry, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, like I'm, I'm pouring my, my, my journey on the table and I wanted them to feel that vaping saves lives. I wanted them to feel it, you know, um, and I ended up spending the entire day there with them um, in, in Parliament. Uh, Megan was right beside me the whole day. No fucking way I wasn't doing it without my girl. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, we were there the whole day, woe to go, and I met so many people, handed out my card, saying I'm an advocate on bloody YouTube. <laughs> nice. And um, it, it, it was just overwhelming in every way. I, I feel it was a positive day. I feel I was heard. It wasn't a day where any you know big conclusions or decisions came out of, but it was a moment in time where I got my chance to say my two cents. Yeah. And, um, Megan and I did a recap show, uh, the following show after that particular trip, because uh, a company, uh, sorry, an organization, one of our smoke-free organizations, um, one of our Māori organizations, because our Māori wahine, our Māori women are our highest statistic in New Zealand, they're smokers. Um, so I was representing that statistic as well as our community, and I was flown up to Wellington to Parliament to do that. Um, and they put me up for the night and treated me like a queen, and it was all very special. Um, and yeah, uh, so we did a recap on the show and I read my speech out on the show and had a cry to everybody else watching the show. <laughs> you're, you're a rock star, man. The cry on my show is ridiculous. <laughs> you're, a rock, you're a rock star. Yeah, well, for five minutes I felt like it. And then <laughs> they have a monthly newsletter, the organization that flew me up. And so they've also done a follow up article on me. Um, and we had a conversation that's written out, you know, like, 
Q&A sort of styles. And yeah, so there's an article about me and my five minutes in Parliament as well. Well, 15 really. But um, yeah, so that was like a snippet of something that's been going on for me since I caught up with you last. But it was just like a really uh, in impactful snippet for me. And I hope for the people that were in that room with me. Um, yeah, it, it was a really special day. It was a special day. <laughs> That's amazing, oh. Max. Yeah. So That's proud amazing. I even got on the plane to go and do it as well. Like, you know, I made it there. <laughs> I made it there. <laughs> um, Some of them sensey. The oh, hi. Yes. Birthday, Tuesday, Steve. You're like a month away from your real birthday. I'll mix up a cake, <laughs> but I won't talk to you on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. That's his working ass skit. Oh, that video okay, he maybe. put out today was funny. Oh, he put it out today. Yeah. Okay, I need to go look as soon as this. Is yeah, over. it's good. I won't. I, I won't give it away. Good. It's funny. You can go like it. Excellent. So fresh our master plan didn't work, so I guess we'll have to do it. I guess we're gonna have to show it, but uh, before we do that, we do have to we do have to do our giveaway. So anybody that wants in on the giveaway, go ahead and give me an X one in the chat, just so that you're active as a participant. Oh, anybody that's currently anybody that's currently chatting you're already you're already there so so I just bought 40 tickets 40 tickets I saw them got paid by YouTube but fuck it I'll give Kong Brown my money I don't care heck yeah what's this money from YouTube business it's fantasy and, and fallacy I'm sure of it yeah, X, X1 for all them lurkers out there. Yep. I'm a lurker. Yeah, you are. I'm pretty sure I see you right over there. I'm, I'm a loud lurker. <laughs> I'm not sure it's called lurking once it's too loud. <laughs> pretty sure Lumi followed me to Spokane when I moved. Oh, you didn't know I moved, did you, Mox? Oh, you know tell. what? I did catch that. Uh, I was in chat one day, and Lumi was running your show, and oh, you popped right. in and gave everybody a fright, and I happened to be in chat that day, so I did find out that's why you haven't been around. You didn't move. So you're in your new house, in your new spot, all settling? We're settling in, yeah. We're settling in. How's the new job? Because that was the I, whole I love my new job. Right? I stay busy. It's too busy Yay. some days, but... I'll take it. I'd rather be busy than bored. As long as the move was a good one and you were happy, darling. Yeah. Let's see how many let's see how many participants there are out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's not right. YouTube. Mm -hmm. More way more people have put X one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I see K fun. So let me know who wins this, Frank. Oh, Tomorrow. I will. Yeah, I will definitely. I'm going to have Skittles uh, send me all the winners, and I have email addresses for all of them, so I can go ahead and send stuff to them. Because even people that there we go. I went that went ahead and they couldn't donate on uh, GoFundMe because of you know credit card situation, whatever country they were in, they did it through PayPal, and they sent their the PayPal receipt, and I threw them in as well because they you know. They donate as well. All right, so let's go ahead and copy these folks. I'm assuming Tommy's running a show. I'm sorry, yes, Tommy. Yeah, I got notification. I'm sorry, yeah, Tommy. Gotta... We'll be there in a minute, Tommy. Let me go ahead and I don't think I'm in here. I am in here. Let's delete myself. Everybody else, you're eligible. Unless you tell me you don't want to be. If yeah, piff mine. You can piff okay, it, delete Addy it, whichever. Toonies, Addy Toonies out. I didn't even know what you're doing. What's the giveaway? Uh, I bought I bought 40 tickets for Kind Grounds Raffle. That's the fundraiser raffle? Yes, for tomorrow, yep. For tomorrow, well, tomorrow's raffle. Late, yeah, later today, your time. This evening, your time. Okay, so I erased Addy Toonie. Daytime Frank's not in here. I'm not sure I'd be eligible being outside US. Let me see here. One, two, oh, yeah, you can. I, I, I was just going to say, perfect. Let me see how many people are in here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
11. I'm going to say we have 70 watching. 12, so. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So, 27. I'll take 13. I'll take 13 entries to give away tomorrow. Everybody that did the X1, you got a ticket. So let me double check, make sure I got everybody. So I got Zesty, V Dog, Bachelor, Fape Bros, Beep, Uncontrolled Var, Uncontrolled Variables, Tony Laura, Stefan, Sport Levy. Sonia Marks, Raven Shadow, Mox, Michael Morris, Master Verb, Lumi, Lewis Knight, Kim C, Jeff Lawson, Jeff C, Goose Girl, Fat Cat Vic Bing, I love that name, DIY Down Under, Deb Ling, Sin, Chevy Man, BT Cruiser, Big Doc, Ben, Ben Oz in the chat, love that dude, and Al Ben. So that was everybody that X won to me. You all got a ticket. We. I'm not even doing. I'm not even going random. Everybody, nah. everybody, everybody got a ticket. You get a ticket. You get a ticket. I everybody, everybody that. has one. Everybody got a ticket. So everybody's got one entry into the kind ground raffle. Um, they're going to be doing stuff all day. Um, so I'm going to give daytime Frank everybody's info. Yeah, just uh, forward that over and I'll get it in. You the, want uh, an email form? Yeah, you can do that. Then I'll just uh, I'll forward it over and put it in the Google Doc. Okay, thank you. Luckily, you can just copy and paste this shit into Google Doc. Yes. <laughs> that will save you. Yeah, because I got a lot of copy and pasting to do tonight or tomorrow morning. We're both. So I have 13 more entries to give away tomorrow. Somebody remember? Someone remind me of that. Okay. And there is the uh, Kind Ground Marathon link for tomorrow. There we go. Yep, the, the, uh, the stream has already been set up by Wayne. Well, whatever you just gave me for the raffle, honey, you'd need to message me if something happens with it in case I yeah. miss whatever's going on. <laughs> you are on the other side of the world. I, I think we can get a hold of you, though, Mox. I think, I think someone involved... We'll be able to we'll be able to get in touch with you. There you go, Frank. I have sent you all the winners from tonight. I may keep. You know what? I'm only giving ten away because I'm keeping three for myself. Oh, three. Oh, you, you do that. You do that. You got to make sure you're. In that's right. Too. I'm keeping fifteen dollars out of, out of my uh, imaginary YouTube money that still hasn't hit my account. Although I haven't I haven't earned enough to get paid. So I think this is I think this is going on four months. So this is pretty good. This is a pretty good stretch for me not not hitting that hundred bucks. Normally I get it every three months and then I just donate away. But this one, I'm giving it all the kind ground, everybody. If you have a problem with that, come to my house and punch me. Yeah, Fidalgo, yeah, every five bucks is a raffle ticket. You're right. Yep. Every five dollars is a is an entry. So I, you can do the math on how much I gave if you want. I don't think it's anything I don't think it's anything crazy. Yeah, and tomorrow the uh, schedule has been adjusted and the interview with Vape and Trucker doing an uh, interview on Kind Ground is going to be around 3.30 Eastern when he gets back from his okay, championship. Okay, so he's going right after my show. Yeah, I guess we're probably going to cut into you a little bit. And no, go I'll, I'll, cut off at, I'll cut off it. I'll cut off at two hours, and then they can do their thing. Okay, yeah, because you know, he had said to me yesterday or last night he'd probably get home you know, around 3.30 Eastern from the parade. So, that, well, that's when he would be available. But yes, everybody, you can go to that link that's been dropped out there. It's also the first link in the description. Feel free. First link in the description. You can go to the second link, too, if you're feeling generous tonight. But the first link in the description is the Kind Ground. Um, the Kind Groundathon. Give every five bucks. We'll get you an entry. You forward your uh, emails over to uh, Daytime Frank, and he will take those, plug them into the Google Doc, and then you can win full lines of Wonder Flavors, full lines of Mullen Berries. You can win Addy Tooney K Funds. Um, Flavora is given like five sets of 40 flavors away. There's all sorts of e liquid, atomizers, all sorts of stuff up for Kind Ground. Up for yeah, if you ground. want, I can I can rattle most of it off real quick. Uh, we're cutting into Tommy. Yeah, so you're cutting in. Okay, we yeah. Got, we got time tomorrow. And it'll. Yeah, tomorrow, oh, yeah. All the drawings and everything are tomorrow on Wayne yes. from DIY or Die's channel. So DIY or Die. 
if you're not yeah, in between DIY yeah, in between sub, the shows but you will see you will see me go live for like five minutes tomorrow and there's going to be a link and you can go straight to the show the actual show so in there you way. go everybody there you go um they might let you zesty so uh, we do have one more announcement to make, one more announcement as we're going off the air. So we're going to go ahead and let everybody say their piece before we go to uh, the big announcement for this week. Uh, so Frank, Frank, promote away, oh. honey. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we're going on, I guess, around 430 Eastern. We're doing our Sunday show on Saturday during the Mixathon. a uh, So everyone come on over and you know, donate, donate what you can. You know, kind ground deserves it. He needs it, and uh, I ain't got a whole lot to say. I'm saying we'll see. We'll see everybody tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. it's gonna be a blast. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right. So, Addy Tooney, anything to promote tonight? Fresh. Thanks for having me. Um, I promote all you guys. I promote Moxley the rock star, and um. Get on the horn. Get you know. Send an email to to your representatives, and because uh, now's the time. That's nice. all I have to say, other than hug the ones you love and give them a kiss. I agree. Zesty dropping a link to his new skit. If y'all want to watch that after the show, feel free. Zesty is a, Zesty's fucking hilarious. Hilarious. I love all of his skits. So there's always some dude trying to steal his e-liquid, who's almost as tall as he is. <laughs> yeah. Lumi, Lumi, promote something. Um, I'm going to promote everybody. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming together and doing this for Kind Grown. I appreciate you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys for welcoming me into the community. Like, I, I'm baffled. Like, thank you so much. If you ever want to get a hold of me or just chat, I'll give you a link to my Discord, because that's just easier than promoting where you can find me. <laughs> I'm here to chat if you need any help or you're curious about any of the kind ground goings. I'll fill you in tonight. That's, that's where you can find me. She may be live on Twitch later. Maybe. She might be live on Twitch in a little bit. Let me 1992 on Twitch. Uh, the Discord is Say something nice. Ah, love you, Fresh. We it's love been you too. too long since we caught up. Um, Awesome to put a, a face to Frank. Awesome to meet Lumi, a Lumi properly. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied now. Always lovely to see you, Dale. Um, you guys want a family? I'm I'm everywhere on social media. Moxley psychedelic. Uh, there ain't nobody else around like me. Um, me <laughs> and my girl Megan with the I'm Kiwis. We're on Sundays here in New Zealand, but Saturday nights for you guys in the US. And I have a new time. A new time. So Pacific, 7 o'clock, Central, 9, Eastern, 10 o'clock, Saturday nights. That's our new time as of my tomorrow. I think it's your guys tomorrow as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm around. I do, I do things. I do things. I'm just that crazy cute. You guys can find me in all the places. Always, always, always love for my overseas crew because, um, yeah, we're a global vape community and we're all here to support each other all across the world. Don't die on us, Fresh. <laughs> I choked on my e-liquid the other night. I guess it's Fresh's turn. There it is there. Dropping a link for Moxie's channel out there. Breathe. Tomorrow on my show tomorrow I am I am doing finally it's a, it's a couple of weeks late because we've had tech difficulties, but I am doing the review for this wee guy, the Geek Vape Flint Starter Kit, which is what that um hashtag is doing up there behind me. So yeah, uh my show's a little bit different to everybody else's. If you haven't seen me, um we do it like this. Uh whether I'm doing a review, a tasting, a, a hardware review or an e-liquid tasting, me and Megan have a chat like this with our fam and we just kick it. It's no, no editing, no bullshit fancy stuff. It's just live and it's raw and we usually have something stupid happen that makes you all laugh. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Muted. Oh, so muted. He's totally dying. 
<laughs> wow, I said okay. Sending you hugs. <laughs> that was uh that was a good one. Anyway, oh, I don't right. know what that was about. Anyway. Oof, I think I worked up <coughs> <laughs> Got that throat tackle. Got that throat tackle. <laughs> All right. Find the scene. Yep, exactly. So everybody be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. And since everybody hung to... around, time for the special announcement about Tuesday. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, instead of Fresh from the Kitchen, everybody, there will be an episode of Fog Life <laughs> on Tuesday. Yeah! With, Gizzard's, with, with Gizzard <laughs> Stew. Yeah! Oh, damn. Toonie better get busy. That's right. There better be some Toonie deals. <laughs> so instead of Fresh from the Kitchen, we will not be mixing. We will be hanging out with Gizzard Stew, everybody. Awesome. So tell yeah. your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your family. That's right. Gizzard Stew is back one night only. Hanging out with us. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. So that, that is awesome, Gizzard Stew. <laughs> That's that awesome. awesome. So, and there will also be something extra special. Extra special that night. Uh, Toonie can't see the picture. Uh, and Gizzard Stew, he made up a lovely, lovely thumbnail for it and then made the mistake of letting me have it. <laughs> so I did stuff to it. I did stuff to it. Good so, good. yes, everybody. Gizzard Stew, live, one night only. Come hang out with us for special edition Fog Life, Tuesday night. So Was that a weird walk of Fresh and Gizzy's faces together? Is that what I just seen? I think no, he, he, he warped my eyeball. Oh, is, that, is it just an eyeball warp? Okay. Yeah, just an like, eyeball warp. Is that a of your faces? <laughs> but yes, so... Everybody, come hang out. It's going to be a blast. Um, who wants to gizzard stew me on out of town? As you go out throughout your day, be nice to everybody you see, and get off your butts and vape. And Friday night, so a little masturbation. Bye. 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 Mox already, Mox already took care of that. She's good. Bye.